In this video, we're going to find the least common denominator, or least common multiple of some monomials. Now, we already know to find the least common denominator, we use all factors with highest exponents from numbers. Well, with variables, it works the exact same way. We use, again, all factors with the highest exponent attached to each variable. Now, for these examples, the numbers are going to be small, so we'll use mental math with the numbers. We've got 5x cubed y squared and 4x squared y to the fifth. We can probably look at 5 and 4 and figure out what the least common multiple is of both of them. They both go into 20, so we're pretty sure 20 takes care of the numbers. As far as the variables go, we follow the same process. We use all factors, there's x's and there's y's, and we will attach the highest exponent. The highest exponent on an x is cubed. The highest exponent on a y is a fifth power. Now, we have the least common denominator, or least common multiple of both these monomials to be 20x cubed, y to the fifth. Similarly, if we want the least common denominator of 7ab squared c and 3a to the fourth b, looking at the numbers 3 and 7, we can pretty much see it's going to be 21. 3 and 7 both go into 21. But with the variables, we see the variables a, b, and c. And we're going to attach the highest exponent to that. The highest exponent on a is a fourth power. The highest exponent on b is a second power. c only has a first power on it, so the least common denominator is 21, a to the fourth, b squared. What we see is to find the least common denominator, we simply have to use all factors with highest exponents.